I really do suggest if you are becoming an author and if you're on that platform, you really do have to build your audience now. And I'm glad that you brought this up because this is also the beauty in self-publishing. So the big thing is, is when it comes to, if you go with a traditional publisher, you are still, it's still up to you to market the book. Like for someone who are, you know, we're not the big Tony Robbins and Robin Sharma, people don't know us yet. Um, we need to do all the marketing ourselves. That's a lot of, that's a lot of work that we have to do. And social media has become so crucial for us. So it's, it makes, it makes it even more possible to self publish and to just build your audience on social media. And the simplest way to put, how do we feel like, how do we start building a community on, let's say Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, share compelling content, share content. That's, that's going to, touch people that's going to inspire people that's going to move people though that's the kind of stuff that you want to be putting out there and naturally people are going to resonate and then what you want to do is have conversations social media and this is some stuff that i actually learned from marcos was social social media is for us to be social not just post and go off the grid and expect people are just gonna engage and that's it right like we need to go out and we need to do engage we need to engage with people so just by sharing content. So for example, what I could do if I wrote my book and I'm promoting it, it's not about, Hey, buy my book. I published a book. Go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy it. It's not about that. Share a chapter, share a chapter from your book. And if people resonate, they're going to start a conversation with you and then they're going to want more. And that's just really like the, the basics of like using social media to, to build your personal brand. Yeah. There's, I hear about uh, an 80, 80, 20 rule, which is, yes. You, you know, if you're just posting, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book, you're not offering any value. You're not making any connection. But if you can have four posts, so out of every five, four of them are offering value. And the fifth one is the ask. So, exactly. you know, you're, you're, you're helping out, you're giving a free chapter, you're giving a free download, you're connecting. And then by the time you're saying, Hey, you know, if, 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 you found value in what I've been providing. Um, I, I do have a book that I think would, you know, raise her quality of life. And people feel like, wow, she's given me so much stuff that I feel like I should should support her back. And they also mm -hmm. see the value uh, in in purchasing the book. So that that's what I've been hearing yes. is is an eighty twenty rule. And and Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Gary V. Uh, he had a book called Jab, 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 Right Hook, yes. which is you can't just go for the big shot, which is trying to sell <laughs> something. You got to soften them up a little bit, which is, which is pretty exactly. cool. And um, I'm glad that you mentioned it too, because I even say too, if you're really just starting out, if you're really just building up your platform, I would say 100% provide value. Focus on that. And then maybe a few months down the road, then you can bring in some sales, but that has to be the, the number one focus is the value. Yeah. And when you're unknown, the number one thing that you're looking for is attention. Because mm -hmm. once you once you have attention, when you've created a, a fan base or followers or a community, it's easy to monetize attention. So if you have a thousand, a thousand true fans and you've been yeah. offering so much value, when you put out a book, a lot of them are just going to buy it. When you do an event in their city, they're going to buy a ticket. But yep. if you don't spend the time, uh, you know, creating that community and, and getting that attention, whatever you're, you're providing is just going to fall flat. So. You're absolutely right. And one of the key things that I would say too, if people are not doing this and if, whether this is, you're just starting out on social media, I mean, one of the best platforms that I use is, is Instagram. I love Instagram and every single new person that comes and follows you, you should be having a conversation. You should be sending them a message before they even send it to you. Send them a voice note, send them a video. That goes such a long way because not everyone's doing that. So if you just take a few seconds to send a quick little voice note and just say, hey, and start a conversation, how beautiful. People are going to remember that. So why, why do you like Instagram over the other ones, over the Snapchats and the Twitters and the Facebooks? Uh, why Instagram specifically? The visual, Insta what is it? You know what? Instagram, I think, is honestly an all-in-one platform. We have IGTV. That's YouTube. We've got the stories. That's like Snapchat, right? We have just everything. And I don't feel like I need to go onto so many different platforms because sometimes when you feel like you need to be everywhere, 
it can get a little overwhelming. And sometimes again, the overwhelm stops us. So that's why I love to focus on Instagram. And the big difference I found from like Facebook and Instagram is just with hashtags, you can reach people in all these different areas. Whereas Facebook, you need to be like friends or in groups and things like that. Right. So I feel like Instagram is just so much easier to connect with people all around the world. I'm going to give you some personal data of mine that's going to support your love for Instagram. So a few months okay. ago, I, I started a Joelle Martin Mastery uh, social media accounts across all of them. Okay. Yep. And I've posted basically the same content on every platform. And here's the results. So on, on Instagram, uh, within a few months, I have, say, 1,600 followers. With the same content on, um, on Facebook, I have, say, 1,200 followers or likes or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you go to Twitter, and it, there's like 122. Like it just shows, <laughs> it shows the activity of, of what's actually connecting with people and, and how active people are. So uh, Instagram, Instagram is the winner across the data that I'm seeing. Uh, so. I love it.